right in previous video completed the topic state and observations now coming to the stationary process and the markov assumption right see here with the set of state we have some set of state and evidence variable for a given problem okay the next step is to specify the dependencies among the variables right listen we have some variables in the problem so we are considering one problem you have some variables in the next step what you are doing what are the dependencies among the variables what are the dependencies one variable is depending on another variable so you have to find what are the different dependency variables okay so next one the obvious choice is to order the variables what is the next one order you have to place the variables in order of course that is in temporal order temporary order okay so since cause usually precedes precedes effect and we prefer to add the variables in causal order okay so you have one variable add that variable what is the next variable you have to identify if that is correct then add that variable in the correct order okay order is most important okay so that is the point here okay so the main point here is you have to find evident variable state and evidence variable and you have to find dependencies for those dependencies you have to find the order so place the variables in the particular order okay so suppose you have unbounded number of variables not limit so many variables are there in the problem so we need some we have some problems for that okay so first uh you have to specify unbounded number of conditional probability tables that means cpts you have to maintain cpts for unbounded number of variables okay because you have unbounded number of variables that means cpt is very big second problem is unbounded number of parents are there so as the variables increase the table is increased parents also increased okay how to solve the problems for the first problem what is the first problem here unbounded number of conditional probability so for this what you are doing here the variables are changing based on the laws rules okay not changing over the time do not changing over the time so if the variables are changing based on the rules not over the time you have to identify okay now the second problem how to handle the second problem is we have what is the second problem infinite number of parents for those what we are doing markov his scientist name markov is a scientist name so what he assumed he assumed that is the current state the present state is depending on the history of the previous state only not remaining the present state so this is the present state this is depend on only previous state not in the not to the pre uh, all the states okay depend on the previous states okay right so that is the solution for second problem so here coming to the markov process or markov chains okay here two types are there one is first order markov process second one is second order markov process first order markov process second order markov process in the diagram i will explain this concept first one represents first order markov process second diagram represents second order markov project process right so here this is xt the problem variable 
x t minus 1, x t minus 2, previous variables, next coming variables, like that variables are there. So, here x t minus 2 is depend on previous variable x t minus 1 is dependent on depend on previous variable x t is depend on previous one x t plus 1 is depend on previous one x t plus 2 is depend on previous one okay so one variable this variable is depend on previous one only that is first order markov process see here coming to the point so here you are considering x t and you are considering x value from 0 to t minus 1. So, x t is depend on x t minus 1. x t is depend on x t minus 1. x t minus 1 is depend on x t minus 2. x t plus 1 is depend on x t. Like that. Coming to the second order Markov process here. Variable depend on two variables. Okay. So, x x t minus 1 is depend on x t minus 2 x t minus 1 is depend on x t minus 2 and also it is depend on x t minus 3 t minus 3 and x t is depend on x t minus 1 and it is depend on x t minus 2 x t minus 1 x t minus 2 x t plus 1 is depend on x t and x t minus 1 x t plus 2 is depend on x t plus 1 and x t. So, here second order Markov process means the variable depend on previous two states. Okay. The current state. See, x t is depend on x t minus 2 and x t minus 1. That is second order Markov process. Now, coming to the example which is raining example. Coming to the day 1. Day. So, day. Consider day. Day 1. So, u umbrella t minus 1. u t minus 1 is false. Automatically, what is raining is false. If it is true, raining is true. Okay. Suppose, if it is true, there is a chance of seven, uh, 0.7 raining in uh, day 1. So, automatically, in day 2, the raining chance is increased. So, ut is true here and raining is also true. So, if the probability is high, then ut plus 1 is also true. It is also true. Okay. So, this is example. Okay. Right. 